Palmyra is an archaeological city of great historical importance, currently located in the Homs Governorate in the central part of the state of Syria. The city's ancient history dates back to the Neolithic era, and it was mentioned in historical records, for the first time, in the second millennium BC, and in that period it moved between the hands of several ruling countries until it ended up under the authority of the Roman Empire in the first century AD. Palmyra was a very rich city thanks to its location, which was located at the intersection point of several trade routes in the ancient world. The Palmyrenes were famous for the many cities they built on the Silk Road, one of the most important ancient trade routes, which extended from China in the west to Europe in the east, and their trade relations with the Roman Empire helped them. The profits of their trade enabled them to construct huge buildings in the city of Palmyra, such as the Great Colonnade of Palmyra, the Temple, and even tombs in the form of towers. Ethnically speaking, the Pomirenes were a mixture of the Amorites, Aramaic, and Arabs, and they spoke, according to researchers, the Pomirene dialect of Aramaic, which is one of the dialects of the Aramaic language, and they also used the Greek language. In their commercial and political deliberations, they embraced several pagan religions, including the Semitic, Mesopotamian and ancient Arab religions. The social system in the city was based on tribe and clan rule, and its culture was greatly influenced by the Greco-Roman world, as its architectural and artistic style combines Roman and Greek styles with Eastern artistic styles. With the 3rd century AD solutions, it turned to ruin a regional center reached the peak of its prosperity in the year 260 AD, when it defeated its king Athena the emperor Sassanian Sabur I. After his death, he was succeeded by Queen Zenobia, who did not want Palmyra to remain under Roman rule, so she revolted against them and expelled them from the city and established the independent Palmyra kingdom. However, this angered the Roman Emperor Aurelian, who mobilized an army and destroyed the city in 273 AD. Emperor Diocletian rebuilt Palmyra, but it did not return to its former era and prosperity. Regional changes in the region led to the conversion of the city's population to Christianity in the 4th century AD, and then to Islam in the 7th century, as the Islamic conquests led to the Arabic language replaces the Roman and Greek languages. In the year 273 AD, the city of Palmyra gained a state of self-government and annexed it, administratively, the Roman state of Syria and this was as a result of the emergence of an independent political system in the city influenced by the success of the independent Greek cities. In the 3rd century, Palmyra was transformed into a Roman colony, a Roman colony, and then it became administered according to a royal rule in the year 260 AD. But after being destroyed in the year 273 AD, it was no longer more than a small administrative center in the Byzantine Empire, and lost most of its importance. The city was destroyed again in the year 1400 as a result of the Demurid invasion, and it was reduced to a purely small village, but it remained inhabited. After the coming of the Mandate, the French rulers decided to move all the population in 1932 to the city of Palmyra. The city's archaeological site became available for exploration and exploration. The Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant ISIS, took control of Palmyra in 2015, and since then the city has become the site of an ongoing war between the Islamic State and the Syrian army, which retook the city on March 2, 2017. The war and the actions of members of the Islamic State led to the vandalism or demolition of a large number of buildings and valuable artifacts in Palmyra, whose surviving cultural heritage is still in great danger. The name of Palmyra appeared in the manuscripts of the Babylonian in eastern Syria, which is found in the Kingdom of Mary, and the name means the country of resistance in Amorite and country indomitable in the Aramaic language of Syria Old, called Latin Palmyra and its name in Aramaic is Tadmerta it means miracle. Palmyra is located 215 kilometers, 134 miles, northeast of the Syrian capital, Damascus in an oasis surrounded by date palms, which produce 20 different types of dates. There are two mountain ranges overlooking the city, the northern chain is the Aleppo Plateau, the Palmyra Mountain Range, and the southern Palmyra Mountains from the southwestern side. As for the south and east, 
it faces the city of Palmyra, the Syrian Badia. A small Shu'ab passes through the area, flowing from the western hills and bypassing the city before disappearing into the eastern oases. There is also the Afxa Spring in the south of the valley. Description of Pliny the Elder The city in the 70s AD is famous for its desert location, the richness of its soil, and the surrounding springs, which contributed to the growth of pastures and the possibility of agriculture and sheep grazing. Pliny mentioned that Palmyra was independent, but in 70 AD, it became part of the Roman Empire, but his guesses about the political situation of Palmyra were not taken into account, because contemporary historians considered this part of ancient accounts dating back to the reign of Emperor Augustus when Palmyra was independent. Palmyra began as a small settlement near the Afxa Spring on the southern bank of Wadi al Qubur. This settlement, known as the Hellenistic Settlement, consisted of dwellings that extended to the northern bank of the valley during the 1st century AD. Although the city walls surrounded a wide area on both sides of the valley, the walls that were rebuilt during the reign of Diocletian surrounded only the northern bank. Most of the city's mega-projects were built on the northern bank of the valley. Including the Temple of Bel, which was built on the site of an earlier temple, the Hellenistic Temple. However, the excavations supported the theory that the hill was originally located on the southern bank, and that the valley had been transferred to the south of the hill in order to integrate the hill into the civil organization that existed in the 1st and 2nd centuries AD in the northern bank region. The site of Palmyra's Great Colonnade was also to the north of the valley, a 1.1 km long, 0.68 miles, main street, extending from the Temple of Bel in the east to the Temple of Funerary No. 86 in the western part of the city. Dot among its parts is the Triumphal Arch in the eastern part of it and there is a tetrapylon in the middle. The Baths of Diocletian, which were built on the ruins of an ancient building that may have been the Royal Palace, on the left side of the portico. Near the residences, was the Temple of Baal Shaman, and the Byzantine churches, including the Fourth Church, which is the largest church in Palmyra. The history of the church dates back to the reign of Justinian in the Byzantine Empire and it is estimated that the height of its columns was 7 meters, 23 feet, and the base of the columns measure 27.5 x 47.5 meters. Both the Temple of Nabu and the Theater of Palmyra were built on the south side. Behind the stage were a small building that housed the seat of the Senate, a large plaza, the remains of the Triclinium, the Banquet Room, and the Customs Court. There was also a cross street at the western end that led to the camp of Diocletian, built by Sosianus Herocles, the Roman governor of Syria. Nearby are the Temple of Al-Lat and the Damascus Gate. The population of the city of Palmyra, at the height of its prosperity during the reign of Queen Zenobia, was more than 200,000 people. It is believed that the oldest actual inhabitants of the city were the Amorites at the beginning of the second millennium BC and then the Arameans began to settle there towards the end of the millennium. As for the Arabs, the first of them reached Palmyra during the end of the first millennium BC. The presence of Arabs in the city can be traced back to historical texts dating back to the Battle of Raphia, which took place in 217 BC, as the sources stated that the sheikh of the Arab tribe of Zabdebel extended a helping hand to the Seleucid emperor. During the battle, these sources did not say anything other than that about the tribe, but it is historically known that the name Zabidbal is a Pamirane name, which may mean that this tribe came from Palmyra. These Arabs assimilated into the Pamirane society and began to speak the Pamirane dialect as their mother tongue, and they occupied important positions and positions in the state. A number of Jews also lived in the city of Palmyra as the inscriptions engraved on Beit Shirim Park and the Lower Galilee show drawings of Jewish burial rites. It happened, in rare cases, that Pomerane families chose Greek names for their children and many of the owners of Greek names in Palmyra were freed slaves, however, very few of them actually had Greek ethnic roots, as it was rare for Greeks to come to the city. It is possible that the Pomerenes hated the Greeks, as they seem to have considered them a kind of foreign intruder, and did not allow them to live in the city until the beginning of the 3rd century AD, the language spoken by the Pomerenes was a dialect of the Aramaic language written using the Pomerene alphabet. The use of the Latin language was very rare, 
but the speech in Greek was somewhat popular in the aristocratic society, as it was a common language in financial and diplomatic transactions, and was even the dominant language in the city during the reign Byzantine. But after the advent of the Islamic conquests, the Arabic language replaced the Greek, therefore the people of Palmyra began to speak their own dialect of Arabic. The Palmyra community consisted of a mixture of peoples, and evidence for this is that the names of the Palmyrene clans were taken from the Arabic, Amorite, and Aramaic languages. Palmyra society lived a social life dominated by the tribal system, and it is difficult to understand how and the laws according to which these tribes coexisted with each other due to the lack of sources. Historians have documented the existence of at least 30 clans in the city, and these clans, in turn, were included under five large tribes. The number of these tribes decreased to four at the advent of the Roman Emperor Nero's era, and each of them had its own area of the city bearing its name, among them were the tribes of Bani Mazan, Cumer, and Mathabal. As for the name of the fourth tribe, it is not known precisely, but it is possible that he was dead. These tribes gradually became civilized and interest in their relations and genealogy decreased, and with the advent of the 2nd century AD, clan affiliations lost their importance completely, and disappeared from existence by the beginning of the 3rd century. This decline in importance did not apply to the small clans alone, but to the four major tribes as well which is what archaeologists deduced from the fact that they found only one inscription talking about these tribes after the year 212 AD. As the role of the tribe faded, it was replaced by an aristocratic society, which became the dominant class in the city of Palmyra. Most of the city's population in the era of the Umayyad dynasty became the sons of Banu Kalbarabs. In the 12th century AD, the traveler Benjamin of Tudela documented the presence of 2,000 Jews living in the city. Palmyra's urban level and population declined after it was destroyed by Demur in the year 1400, when the 20th century entered it was a small village of 6,000 villagers and nomads living around it. Life in Palmyra remained quiet and closed until its relocation in 1932. Rare archaeological evidence from the Bronze Age that was found in Palmyra showed that the city's cultural connection was mostly with the western Levant region, what is now Lebanon, Palestine, and parts of Syria. Palmyra was distinguished in the classical period by a culture that was unique to it from others, and this culture stemmed from the Semitic culture in ancient Syria and was influenced by the Greek and Roman colonial cultures, that occupied the city in some periods. Many Pomerenes adopted Greek and Roman names to integrate into the high society of these two cultures, and some added a Latin or Greek family name to their name as well. Some historians question the degree of influence of the Greeks on the culture of Palmyra, some of them consider that the cultural behaviors that the Pomerenes embodied from the Greeks were a superficial layer covering their original Pomerene culture, which remained the core of their identity. This is clarified by the Senate which was responsible for ruling Palmyra, as the council described itself in its documents as Boel, a Greek word, but this council was, in fact, composed of senior Palmyrene tribesmen, which is a different cultural tradition. Exactly from the Greek tradition. Some researchers believe that the city's culture was a fusion of a local culture with a Greco-Roman one the Palmyrenes were affected in their military systems and war forms by the Persian culture. There were neither libraries nor large documents in Palmyra, and it was late for the scientific movements that rose in other cities close to it, such as Edessa and Antioch. Queen Zenobia was famous for opening her court to scholars, but the only one of them who was known enough to be preserved by the historical heritage was the philosopher Longinus. In Palmyra there was a great central square, Agora. This square differed from what is usual in Greek cities whose squares were centers of civil life and public celebrations. As for Palmyra Square, it was quiet and closer to a gathering of eastern hotels or inns. The people of Palmyra buried their dead in common tombs for families, and most of them were internal walls divided into rows of burial chambers, in which the dead bodies were placed in a horizontal position. The wall of the mausoleum is decorated with a relief bearing the name of the deceased. The sarcophagus has been added to some shrines since the 2nd century, and it is a coffin whose surface is carved in the form of the deceased buried in it. Mummified mummies were found in many tombs, 
according to the burial rituals of ancient Egypt. Pomerane art was closely associated with its Greek counterpart, but it was distinguished by a characteristic and characteristics specific to the region of the Middle Euphrates River Basin. Among the most important manifestations of this art are the busts that decorated the entrances to the tombs of the dead, and which depicted clothes, ornaments, and the appearance of the deceased person, which are similar to the focus on Byzantine art. According to Mikhail Rostov Saif, Pomerane art was influenced by Persian art, although there is controversy about the origin of the front figurines, depicting the front part of the human figure, that characterized art in Palmyra and Persia. Daniel Schlumberger has suggested that its origin is Persian, while Mackay supported Avi Yuna being of Pomerane and Levantine origin and then left his impact on Persian art. We have only a few drawings of Palmyra left, and as for the bronze statues of its important citizens, which were perched on the colonnade columns in the center of the city, none remain. A freight frieze and other carvings from the Temple of Baal indicate the art of sculpture that distinguished the city many of which were transferred to museums in Syria and abroad. Many Palmyra busts were taken to museums in Europe and the West in the 19th century. The Palmyra discoveries provided excellent evidence from the Near East for a major artistic and historical controversy that preoccupied scholars at the beginning of the 20th century, the degree to which Oriental art influenced Roman art by replacing classical sculptures that mimic reality with simplified front statues. This major transformation in the arts is now considered a response to the cultural differences that occurred in the Western Roman Empire, rather than an Eastern influence. Pomerane busts differ, in contrast to their Roman counterparts, in that they are of a uniform shape, some were designed to show precise features specific to the individual they depict but most took the same shape of face and shape, regardless of the age and gender of the owner. Pomerane architecture, like its arts, was influenced by the Greco-Roman style, and it retained its own features, most of which appear in the design of the Temple of Baal. The basic design of the sanctuary of the Temple of Baal was inspired by the Syrian Semitic culture, and then surrounded by Roman columns. The sanctuary of the temple is similar to its counterpart in the Second Temple, as it consisted of a wide courtyard with a shrine to the gods in the middle, a design that embodies the elements of Ebla and Ugarit. To the west of the ancient walls, the Pomerenes built a number of funerary places and burials on a large scale, now forming the Valley of the Tombs, forming a one-kilometer-long funerary city. The more than fifty monuments were built primarily as towers up to four stories high. The towers were replaced by funerary temples in the first half of the 2nd century AD, with the latest towers dating back to 128 AD. There are other tombs located north of the city, and in the southwest and southeast, where the tombs were underground. 